There's a lot of crews out on the field. Weather not only not an issue, it's, it's windier there than it is here, but not enough to maybe impact that aerial coverage. Hopefully not, because those shots are so cool. Mm -hmm. And we do have a chance of some rain. That rain will be moving in later tonight, if not earlier. And then, of course, we're going to see that rain here. Remember last year, it was bitter cold this time of yes. year? It was awful. <laughs> we are not tracking cold weather, though, to end up this year. But we are tracking the possibility of record-breaking rain. Now, normal precipitation is a tenth of an inch, and back in 1887 is the record precipitation. Now, that does include snow melted down to water liquid, but uh, 1.62 inches is the record. We may actually break that as we head towards the end of 2018. Here's a look at our satellite radar. We have this system to our south. It's going to gradually push in in towards Tennessee, yes, bringing some rain there later tonight and then for us it will be during the overnight into the early morning hours tomorrow so you can see clouds are already thickening up ahead of this next storm system temperatures climbed into the mid to upper 30s we're going to see the temperatures climb a few more degrees this evening and then they'll start to fall so we're currently at 35 degrees in indianapolis 32 in lafayette it's 37 in bloomington here's a look at this system it's going to be tapping into a lot of moisture from the gulf of mexico it will quickly move on out of here on the back side of the system late Monday night into early Tuesday, we're going to see temperatures falling behind that cold front. This evening, if you're heading out and about, perhaps to watch, uh, have a cold watch party, temperatures will be near steady in those mid-30s, quiet and dry, clouds will increase, and winds will be light out of the southeast. So let's take a look here, going hour by hour into the overnight hours, we'll start to tap into that rain. Notice this is at 5 a.m. We will see widespread rain by mid-morning, heavy downpours possible. Temperatures will be warming up. If you're heading to the Pacers game tomorrow, you definitely need the rain gear as you're heading in, as you're heading out. It is going to be wet. Temperatures will climb into the mid-50s tomorrow afternoon, more than 20 degrees above average. The heavy rain will continue as we head into the evening hours. Could even be a bit wet as you're celebrating New Year's Eve, and that will continue to move on out by early Tuesday with some patchy drizzle still possible. So we will see highs topping out around 55 degrees Monday. Heavy rain is likely and then on Tuesday New Year's Day some patchy drizzle possible and falling temperatures into the low 30s by late afternoon. All right, thank you so much Kelly.